Today I'm going to talk about Crin Space, which is the sphere that Dragonlance takes place in. Okay, a nice reused picture from Wild Space. Here's an interesting picture. Okay, so the stars in Crin Space are just straight out portals to the plane of radiance and but the constellations have a, been known to move and sometimes new ones appear okay so uh, the sun is the set body in the center of the system and it's called the sun and it's about the same size as our own sun, and it's inhabited by creatures from the elemental plane of fire. So nothing very interesting there. Now, Ciron is a fire body about the size of Mercury that is cooler than the sun. It's, it's covered in a sea of lava with some islands of basalt in it and there are creatures from the elemental plane there and it's possible for you to go there and land on one of these islands and have adventures on this place with a sea of lava okay so the second planet is reorks which is a spherical earth body about the same size as mercury it's inherited by dwarves, gnomes, humans, and mind flayers. And this planet is completely covered in mountains, sheer mountains, and deep canyons. It's mountainous. Most of the surface is near vertical. So, here's a place where somebody has built a town on a, one of the places it's a little bit less vertical. And here's uh, where a canyon has had caves built into it by dwarves and gnomes at different levels. Here's a mind player outpost. Here's some tinker gnomes. At that, you know, tinker gnomes come from Dragonlance, so of course the gnomes in Kryn space are tinker gnomes. And here we get to Kryn. A spherical Earth body that is not the same size as Earth. It's more like the size of Mercury. And it's inhabited by predominantly humans, elves, dwarves, kinder, merfolk, and others like the Tinker Gnomes. So if you're familiar with Dragonlance, you probably know a lot about Tor about Kryn, a lot more than I do. I didn't like Dragonlance. There's a map for a little adventure thread they've got. A map. There's another map. Okay, so the next world is Chislev, which it's, according to the text here, it's there's some debate about whether it's a live world or an earth body. It's an, it's an earth body that's covered with jungle from pole to pole. And it's about the same size as earth. And this, here's a this adventure thing that you can use. And there's a map. I'll show you that later. Okay, so the next world is... Zivalin, a spherical earth body, and it, like most of the earth bodies that they've produced in products, it does have some, or sorry, most of the air bodies, it has some pieces of solid earth, only in this case it's a handful of continent-sized continent boulders spinning around that people live on. There's some smaller ones, but not many, it's mostly open air.
Okay, so the next world is Naismith, which nobody who ever lands or ever returns because this is where the Neogi live with their Umberhawk slaves. And, and also they're slaves of anybody who lands there. Okay, and the Stellar Islands is an asteroid cl cluster, which is inhabited by GIF, Dracons, Gnomes, Gromans, and Spacey Giants. And these worlds are connected to each other. They've got like bridges between them. See? There's a nice picture. Okay, so there are the black clouds, which block out all light, and it makes it so that the Neogi world goes in and out of these clouds. It seems to disappear. And there's some spacefaring companies like the Star Knights, the Crimson Caravan, the Hand of Reorks, the Singing Sword, the Golden Blade. The Strike, uh, the Dream Spinners, the Gatherers, and it goes a bit into the gods of Dragonlance. And there's some Tinker Gnome magic items like the Utter Rudder, the Masked Masked, the Helm Covers, the Crow's Nest. There's some adventure ideas. And there's some new monsters with the Bosk Giant and the Swamp Giant. And so that's, there you have Crin Space is much shorter than Gray Space, but it comes with a map. So let's look at the map. setting up the map. Okay, so here we have the inner system. So showing Chislev as being more of a live world than it is described in the text. Showing Kryn with a orbit that is more elliptical. Clouds. And the Stellar Islands. Let's see what else we've got here. Just some worlds. So there you have it. Crin Space. The world of Dragonland.